lot of people ask me, either whether they are buying a bike or when they already do have a bike, uh, Martin, which are the, the best upgrades that uh, you would recommend me to do? I'm running BRP Canem Spider F3S. I did roughly around 40,000 kilometers on it, running it for three seasons. And in general, I have spent about roughly around 10,000 euros plus minus on various upgrades, signature, light kit, extra LED lights, brake pads, sway bar. Upgrade the shot, the reason my license plate windshield eq remap the exhaust spy rizoma led lights a saddlebags and akrapovich the monoseat cowl navigation holder air filter some of them are visible some of them are less but uh, today i will wrap everything all together uh, i will put links to every single item that i have bought into the description so you can just simply click and uh, see how much it costs and where you can buy it and yeah, in case you will have any question, just uh, write me into the comment. Uh, I will try to reply or simply I will make a next video about the items that interest you the most. Before I will start talking about the upgrades, I would like to mention one thing. A lot of people ask me like, okay, I'm buying a Spider. Which upgrades do you do recommend me to buy? And this is really a tough question. And my number one advice is buy the Spider. Either it is... RT model, F3, S, T, doesn't matter. Buy it, I don't want to say as simple as possible, but buy it with only a few options. I have started with the, with the <laughs> windshield and heated grips. And that was probably it. And I was riding it for almost the whole season without really touching it. And then I realized, okay, I, I'm more aggressive driver. I'm not really cruising. So what do I need to do? Okay, so this is my number one advice. In case you would like to upgrade your bike in the future, in case you, you're just buying the bike, give it a time, buy it, get used to it. And after one month, two months, you will probably know in which direction you would like to go. And then there is the right time to, to ask, let's say on spider lovers, what they think about a few upgrades. Maybe this video will help you. Now, the biggest upgrade of this year it's really the most visible one. It's the look. It's a unique look. I'm, I was motivated by Daytona 500. Uh, the yellow, it's a little bit different. It looks like a B. It's super aggressive. The bike is really, I did all the upgrades uh, towards the performance. So now the bike looks, I think it looks super cool. Maybe you can tell me whatever you think. Uh, not much that I'm interested though, but you know, uh, I'm riding with this cool dude in front. It's because there used to be a BRP uh, logo. Are you an ambassador or is BRP paying you something because I'm doing quite a lot of videos? No, hell no. They are not paying me anything. I'm not their ambassador yet though. Uh, and I have decided to, you know, put that dude in front because if somebody is not paying you, why should I really keep the, the you know? Upgrades from the front to the back. So first thing in the front is that uh, I do have, I think it's called signature light kit, whatever. It's LED light. Uh, this is the original part. I like to keep the bike as original as possible, but I'm not keeping it full, fully open. Uh, it's wrapped into the black in order to fit the design, uh, but there is a small stripe. The good thing is I like the upgrade because the bike is more visible, especially in the night, uh, the people can see you much easier. In, in case it's not rep, it gives you additional light and yeah, it's completely illegal in Europe. Uh, I haven't changed the, the rims. The rims are original rims, standard rims. Uh, you can choose, there are like five or six different variations. BRP is really selling. The Brembo calipers and the Brembo discs and Brembo brakes are really good. And that's really a signature thing for spiders that they can really stop on a dime. Uh, one thing I have changed is just because I want to be different. I'm running the EBC brake pads, the red ones. Uh, they are more sporty. I think they are, they are able to hold more heat. So if I'm really uh, hitting it hard, they are not overheating that, that fast basically, but in general, uh the stock ones are really good so i don't know if if that's something necessary to do really one of the top upgrades that i have done to the bike and big credit to the budget by Aaron. um he has his own sway bar 
uh, first I thought like, come on, dude, I, I really seriously selling me this and it looks absolutely the same as the original sway bar that is there. Uh, the links, yeah, the links are not plastic. They are from kind of metal, whatever. It's the, as the quality or the material. I have to say it's really, really good upgrade. Uh, what it does is that when you, when you're riding a little bit more aggressively, the riding is much more like precise. That's one thing. And it's really important, of course. The second thing is, I have tried F3S without the sway bar. And when I was riding it, it's really like what, what, the, what the Byron sway bar does, it's also it's like you have now a power steering wheel. So like really turning the, the rides when the bike is, let's say, standing like this and you need to, you know, turn around, uh, it's much, much easier. One of the top three upgrades, definitely, I have done to the bike. We'll stay in front. What I had to do is I had to upgrade the shocks uh, just because the first reason is because I'm a little bit aggressive driver. How aggressive? Have a look on a few videos, like 200 kilometers an hour on a, on a German highway, riding like an idiot on a twisty road, and we can continue like this. Anyway, I'm a little bit more aggressive driver, plus I'm fat as well. Uh, I'm 120 kilograms, two meter tall dude. So many people in America, if you go to the spiderlovers.com, uh, many people out there do use, I think, oh, it's Elka. Yeah, uh, it's quite easy to buy it in America. They have different stages. BRP goes for Fox Shocks. After some time I have realized, and again, I'm coming back to the, my first advice. I was riding the bike, but because I'm, I'm heavy, when I was braking heavily, the bike was leaning way too much to the front. So I was hitting the road, plus the bike was way too soft. So I have decided I will go for Wilbur's. Wilbur's, it's much easier for me to buy here in Europe. So that's the primary number one reason. You know, prepared according to my weight, plus I can adjust them because they're customizable. So that's probably one of the, another top three upgrades that I have done to the bike. Really, really worth it. That's the windshield. I was running like this ever since from the beginning. I don't like the plain look without the, any kind of wind protector. Uh, so I, I went for this. Uh, if you're asking like how much it really protects you, um, when I'm riding really in a high speed in a, on a highway, you can go like this, look like a little bit like idiot, but uh, yeah, it helps only when you are really riding like this. Otherwise, no, no, no help at all, apart from that it looks cool. I have inserted right over here, that's from La Monster Garage, extra LED lights, extra LED turn light signals, simply because um, I have found out I'm a little bit taller dude, and the dashboard, you know, it's the, it's the basic dashboard, and simply, if you are a little bit smaller, maybe you can, you are able to spot much easier the control. Uh, because me being a little bit taller, the angle is different and I have really big trouble to, to spot those indicators, especially turn light signals. It happened to me that I have sometimes those turn light signals on. So I have decided to insert it here and at night it looks super cool. Plus during the day, I can really see that if my turn light signals are on or they are off so that's a good thing for me i have replaced this middle console it has several holes and you can mount the the rum out there so i'm using it for the holder uh, navigation holder uh, it fits there perfectly because it's right in the middle uh, i like this upgrade very much plus there is another another spot for another air rum mount and i will probably put there my gopro and I think we have a guest. Tomoy. Tomoy. No, yes, no. Okay, as for the more upgrades on the bike and at this part, um, I'm using, ever since from the beginning, I'm using the heated grips. They are not really the best ones. Uh, I have experienced better ones on uh, on different bikes like BMW or whatever. The the tiny problem is that you have only possible possibility to turn it on or off. And when there is really a cold outside, I mean, and you are wearing a little bit 
thicker gloves mm, they are not really helping you as we go as we go further my next upgrade and really really good one uh, actually again there is a link to a video it happening right over here in the heart of the bike it's the eco remap i have sent it to canada i don't really want to talk a lot about it because in this video I, I, i'm pretty sure I, I said it enough uh, but that's one of the upgrades uh, i have done and i'm i'm really happy about it plus what's here as well is the air filter i'm using the knn uh, air filter i uh, don't think there is any really performance upgrade the next upgrade a really significant one is the is the exhaust pipe or cat delete call it as you like from la monster uh, i have received several comments that there is the rcl rsl whatever uh, it will be in the link there is another option uh, to the exhaust pipe probably i would like to test it uh, during the summertime and if you like to know more about the la monster pipe how it changed the performance how it changed the sound um, and also with the with the akrapovic exhaust i have done pretty I think pretty successful and pretty big video. I'm using the, the mono seat call. Uh, it's a very nice thing. You can place the addition. It's like additional storage unit. It's a little bit uncomfortable because only from the point that uh, the key is a different one, different one from the saddlebags, different than uh, the, the original key. Uh, RT models has one key for everything, F3, you need to have uh, you know a chain with uh, with keys with you but but I like it 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 creates the the whole look of the bike like more sporty uh, next upgrade it's underneath of the of the seat and yeah uh, as I was upgrading the front shocks I have to put the rear shock as well uh, as we are going to the back uh, yeah that's one of the things that people ask me a lot how i have modified the the rear basically it's a it's a rizoma license plate holder together with the rizoma led lights uh just one thing remember i have used really really strong led turn signals just just you know once i have get rid of the of the original ones i want it to be still visible so i'm using really powerful ones and yeah it's illegal here as well as the exhaust uh pipe or pipe or cat delete it's illegal in europe as well as the akrapovich uh, exhaust it's illegal here so there is not much illegal stuff still on my bike but i like it this way the last not least uh the rear tire i'm running toyo uh, many people uh, write uh the cane dues are not really good tires i don't want to say really toyo helps a lot but at least i'm running a little bit something a little bit different uh, i think in america you are you guys are running the kumho uh, i would like to order those i would like to test them because now they are making the the tires for racing harder medium and soft compounds so probably my next tire will be Kumho if I'm able to get it here. I'm thinking if I have missed something. Oh, definitely one. Uh, one thing is that uh, from the beginning, of course, I'm traveling a lot. And to have a saddlebags, it's a must. I was riding something that is called country saddlebags. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of aftermarket options, but i'm really kind of a dude that i don't like that that style of those aftermarkets apart from corbin but um those are a little bit different and they need to be mounted all the time to the bike so coming to my saddlebags the the country whatever saddlebags it was uh for me they've been not really working first of all they've been kind of a leather style saddlebags i, I didn't like it that much they've been not neither waterproof or water resistant i was having tons of water inside they've been keep opening for me so something was wrong with them i'm not saying all of them are that badly produced but for me they've been not working the shed saddlebags again something that brp is selling and 
I get even used to those rails on the bike so I'm mostly running the bike without the saddlebags if I'm just in the town or whatever but when I put them on what I like about them they are plastic they look they fit more to um, to style of the bike that I have at the moment they are bigger than the previous ones uh, and they are they are water resistant waterproof whatever so they really really work well for me yeah you know what in case you would like to see more of the videos that I'm doing about the bike or about the droning about the trips that I'm, I'm, I'm doing follow me on Instagram there is like 17,000 people that is following me for today uh, or just simply subscribe whatever comment complain on a YouTube channel and in case as I said you have any questions just write a comment and I'll be more than happy to to give you my point of view so this is it this was Martin the vlogger and remember always have fun <laughs>